back, everybody. Folks. Thanks, everybody. Folks, I got to tell you, you are in for a real treat tonight because the ever fascinating and ever fascinated Mr. Jeff Goldblum is going to take the Colbert questionnaire. Now, as you all know, the Colbert questionnaire is the late show's scientific way <laughs> of distilling everything worth knowing about a celebrity down to 15 simple questions. And I had the privilege of administering the Colbert questionnaire to Mr. Goldblum when he stopped by in early November. However, because he takes so many pauses in between words, <laughs> we didn't actually finish till this afternoon. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to truly know Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Jeff, listen, you know I love having you on. Every time you're on here, it's a delight. I feel energized, like I'm hooked up my battery cables to you. But as much as I enjoy talking to you, we've done it uh, quite a few times over the years. It's still hard to get to know somebody in this short period of time. Yes, do, you, sir. do you understand? Like, it's hard to plumb the depths of someone else's soul yeah. in 10 to 12 minutes, however much time we have on a given night. Yes, I know. I have 15 questions here yeah. that if you're willing to answer them, and I want you to think seriously about this, that if you're willing to answer them, yeah. at the end of these questions, you will be known. Okay, do you understand that? Are you willing? to be known, laid bare, like parts on a lawn for people to stare at your soul underneath the golden sun? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Question number one, are you ready? Yes, I am. Jeff Goldblum, yeah. what is the best sandwich? The best sandwich is... Um... Uh, this may sound like bragging, and I'm just, just sorry because I am bragging. I was invited once to uh, Milan in Italy for a, a, um, a fashion show, and I was seated between Claudia Cardinale and Sophia Loren. Wow, that is a that is a nice neighborhood. In other words, I was I was sandwiched between them. <laughs> That's our show. Drive safely. Please drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. <laughs> what right. is the one thing you own, Jeff Goldblum, that you should really throw out? A good question. Uh, well, I'll tell you, now that you've brought it up, you know, I'm the kind of person, if you really want to get to know me, uh, I'm a minimalist, and since I was a kid, this is true, I, I, I had a, a, uh, a yen to eliminate things. So I like to throw things out. I love it. Uh, I like to recycle things. I like to get rid of things. What's on the bubble right now? What's 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 has is not long for this world. Having said that, I just I've got in my closet uh, four pair of pants that I'm thinking of, and I just when the day I flew here, yet was it yesterday? It was yesterday that I went to a store and I bought one. New pair of pants that I really am kind of in love with that will replace those four. Did I just spit on you? I'm That's so all right. sorry. That's all right. No, I did. There it is. It's right there. There you go. There you Actually, go. I there you that go. To the lab. The um, the uh, so so this one pair of pants is going to replace these four, and those four are headed out as soon as I get home, and they'll be recycled. Do they know? Do they know? Uh, they're pants. They don't know. They they they, they, they know. You they think know. They do. But but you anyway, don't. You going. don't personify objects. I have trouble throwing things away because as I go to throw it in the trash can, it goes, why? Really? And then I go, all right, you can stay in my closet a little longer. I'll help. You know, I sometimes thought that my second career would be to go to other people's uh, houses and help them get rid of stuff. Oh, my God. How fun would it be to shoot a piece where Jeff Goldblum comes to my closet <laughs> and tells me what I can save and what gets thrown away? Let's throw, let's throw it out. It's Did you read booked. that book? Did you You're read booked. that book, that tidying up book? Sure, sure, sure. We had her on, Marie Kondo. I love her. Hey, yeah, I'm, sure. all, I'm into it. Tidy yeah. up, tidy up. What's the scariest animal? The scariest animal? Mm -hmm. uh, T Rex, Velociraptor, or the housefly? <laughs> the gamut, the gamut. Yeah. Okay, apples or oranges? Or the human animal. Also very oh, scary. Deep. Uh, deep. Apples or oranges? Uh, interesting question. The correct answer, <laughs> because, because you can spread peanut butter or any nut butter, almond butter, any nut butter on it, is banana. <laughs> is banana. But there is, the real answer is they're equally good. I'm going to send you a case of Pink Lady 
apples and navel oranges, and you'll see how they're when are, together. Are you actually going to do this, or is that just a showbiz? I'm going to send you things. No, I'll, I'll send. I'll send it to you. I'm not forcing you. I'm just asking you. I've got my own apples and oranges. I make a fine living. I don't need. I don't need your fruit, Jeff. My my word is my ward bond. Ward have, Bond, if you ever saw The Searchers, he's in The Searchers, lovely actor. Have you ever asked someone for their autograph? Uh, yes, I'd like your autograph, but I did, I, you know, I did ask somebody for my autograph. Oh. I had a friend, do you know Bruno Kerber? Remember that wonderful actor? Oh, wonderful. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, we were pals. We went to see Muhammad Ali in Zaire uh, on closed circuit. We had the best night of our lives. We were wild fans of his. Did you go to the Rumble in the Jungle? On closed circuit. On close but you circuit. were in Zaire. No, no, on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, you said I we went to go see Muhammad Ali in Zaire on closed circuit. Yes, on closed he circuit. He was in Zaire, you were not. I, no, I was at the theater in closed circuit. Uh, 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 I thought I made that clear. Uh, but, um, but I later met uh, Muhammad Ali, and I went up to him. I said, champ, I love you. I've loved you for my whole life. And uh, he said, you scared me. I said, well, he said, I saw the fly. Hey, where do you live? Uh, someday I may knock on your door and come visit you. I said, I, I love that champ. Anyway, when Bruno turned 30, I sent a boxing glove to the champ and said, can you say to Bruno, keep on punching? He sent it back. It said to Bruno, keep on pushing. <laughs> and I think he upgraded it. I think he upgraded it. Sure. Pushing is more, pushing the envelope, I think he must have meant. Sure. Is more important than. I agree. I agree. I'm sure that's, what he, sure that's what he meant. That's my, that's okay. my answer. When we come back, Jeff Goldblum lists his 25 favorite action movies. Stick around.